Hello and welcome to the Managing Uncertainty Podcast. I'm Brian Strausser, Principal and Chief Executive here at BrightPath. And in episode 230, I want to give you our top 10 predictions for business continuity and crisis management professionals for 2024. You're hearing this or watching this just a couple weeks into the new year. And we want to talk a little bit about the evolving landscape of global challenges and technological advancements that are going to impact us in 2024. Number one, no surprise, we will continue to see an increased focus of the in the area of cyber resilience. Um, we've talked about this before, but as cyber threats grow in sophistication, businesses are going to continue to prioritize building resilient technology systems and robust response strategies to mitigate cyber risk. Number two, climate change. Companies are going to continue to intensify their internal efforts to adapt to climate change, focusing on strategies that mitigate the risk from extreme weather events and environmental changes. Number three, continuity planning for remote workers. That the continuation uh, of remote and hybrid work models um, will continue to require businesses to develop comprehensive business continuity plans that address the challenges of having remote workforces. And these also bring along, of course, cybersecurity challenges as well. Number four, the use of AI and automation in crisis response that artificial intelligence and machine learning and other automation tools are going to be more and more integrated into crisis management, improving response times and decision-making processes. Number five, supply chain resilience. With ongoing global supply chain challenges and disruptions, companies will invest more in creating resilient supply chains. That will include diversifying suppliers and service providers and using more predictive analytics. Number six, pandemic preparedness. And you're like, oh my God, it's COVID all over again. But we take the lessons we learned from the COVID-19 pandemic and organizations are going to keep building their preparedness for future pandemics, future respiratory illnesses, and focusing on rapid response and organizational flexibility. Number seven, reputation management and crisis communication strategies. We will see an enhanced emphasis on crisis communications, particularly utilizing digital platforms and social media to more effectively communicate during a crisis. Number eight, stakeholder engagement. Increased stakeholder engagement that will recognize the importance of involving employees, customers, and local communities in crisis preparedness and response plans. Number nine, regulatory compliance. We will continue to see regulation in this space uh, around resilience, particularly with cybersecurity, and we think that this will increase, have a heightened focus rather, on every or uh, on complying with evolving regulations related to business continuity, crisis management, and cybersecurity, and even more so with data protection and privacy. And last but not least, number ten, mental health and employee well-being, recognizing the impact of crises on mental health. Companies will continue to integrate employee well-being into their crisis management and business continuity strategies. We think these trends align with overall trends in global business and crisis management as a whole. They emphasize the importance of adaptability within your program, technological integration, uh, particularly with your disaster recovery and cybersecurity programs, and comprehensive planning in navigating future challenges. That's it for this edition of the Managing Uncertainty podcast. We'll be back next week with another new episode. Be well. Thanks for watching our video. To learn more about how to manage uncertainty and disruption in your organization, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to our video channel. And here are a few more videos that we've selected that will help you learn more about business continuity, crisis management, and crisis communications.